good morning everyone let's so we'll start our lesson 4 today lesson will go to uh, lo4 as you know me my name anjum satar please if you have any question drop me email anjum at ukvisity.co.uk and i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible lesson 4 which is about be able to plan effective human resource strategies and today lesson key focus will be strategy the word strategy is derived from the Latin word strategist, which we use in military, how we encounter our enemy. So here we're looking in strategy is a human resource, which is the most important asset in any organization. We had a discussion in the previous lesson. So we look around the plan effectively, how we can plan. Plan is where you are, where you want to see your organization in future. So effective, effective mean it's meeting, uh, meeting the desired objective. Yes, human resource, like you want to increase the sale, you want to reduce uh, customer dissatisfaction, you want to increase the quality service, you want to increase the image of the, your organization in the light of, in the eyes of, you know, your client so that is quite crucial which we need to be look around in quite in detail so that's you know the quite crucial which we need to be look around uh, as we already had a discussion about m of this unit so what we'll do we'll go through the three m uh, men money material you know we had a discussion about we said you know labor is the most important asset human resource and we had a discussion competencies capabilities and we went to what is meant by human resource and management is the process of designing an environment to achieve the pre-selected objective. Objective mean end result, you know, what we want to achieve in our organization. That is quite crucial, which we need to be look around in, in our organization perspective. That is quite, you know, which we need to be a look around. <clears throat> okay, guys, so we're looking training in the short term, training is key objective and the development training is a short term and development is a long term we quoted example of nokia last lesson i mentioned you the example of enterprise rented car enterprise rented car and we had a discussion about forte cabin yes so we we need to be look around we had a discussion about forte cabin organization so that's you know quite uh, popular and their case studies I mentioned you is good to read, you know, that will help you to enhance your understanding about. Okay, welcome. Today lesson is about more human resource strategy and action plan. So please, what you need to do, we need to be look around where we are, where we want to see ourselves in future. Strategy is action plan. So always good to be reflect, please, where we are, where you want to see yourself in future as an organization strategy is the action plan okay next we're looking uh we already had a discussion what's come under the human resource uh in so we look around employment legislation last lesson we discussed about various legislation like we want to went through the health and safety act uh, act 1974 we had a discussion we had a discussion Equality Act 2010. Uh, we discussed about GDPR, General Data Protection Act 2018. We discussed about you know the national minimum wage and we discussed patent and uh, paternity leave. All we had a discussion in the previous lesson. So today lesson key indicative content what we're supposed to learn. We discuss about strategies. We'll discuss about the culture. The culture is very important in making the strategy. Cultures mean the norms, the value, where you want to, where you want to see. So we'll go through various authors' uh, cultural model. We've been given the half state, which is used to be work in IBM. Uh, we'll go through the cultural dimension according to Handy. Uh, we'll go through the various cultural web. We'll discuss about the smart objective. We'll look around the HRM contribution. And we'll go through HRM cost and the benefits, you know, to organization. That all will be in our discussion. Anyone, any question, please? Any question? Yes, yes, no, no, no question. Just, you know, we'll move to the next. Okay, guys. So, 4.1, analyze the impact of organizational strategy, structure, culture, on the management. 
of human resource. The strategy, structure, and culture debates, you know, really is very important. Organization structure include the fact and uh, the fact that it involves the coordination of activity. So if your organization orders only come from the top level and delegation not being offered, there is a not good chain of command. That's, you know, huge impact, you know, the organization. So you maybe have an autocratic culture in an organization or you want a democratic culture of the organization or you want to be situational culture because the, your leadership style is, can play the key roles, you know. So we can look around the organization structures the culture of organization and strategy and structure that all will be in our discussion. Okay, so background, HR should contribute overall effectiveness of organization and supporting all HR policies and programs should. It can achieve, you know, the number of ways and helping organization to reach its targets, employing the workforce that have a scale, that have ability, that have, you know, the innovation so we can look around these crucial why we can think about you know the google why the successful organization uh, we can think about uh, primax is growing but british uh, home store is not anymore in the business so there are the number of questions we can ask you know so ethical and socially response towards csr corporate social responsibility global warming what is about you know that is also very important which we need to which we need to be look around in the light of these, you know, the concept. Okay, so next we're looking the background. People management in our organization empower pushing the responsibility to lower levels. So that's why a couple of you maybe watch the program Undercover Boss quite, quite good. Please, if you want to be on YouTube, is a subway company, how the undercover, because, you know, if you understand the ground reality, so it's, it's less, you know, the, you can make, you know, the mistakes it's good to be look around the efficiency, the primary focus of human resource education manages to empower implies, you know, process the smooth and quicker, you know, achieve the role of HR is identifying and challenging the gap between we can look around the processes and have a significant impact overall organization with that. So HR is connected. Uh, manages it can you know influence of the many managers to focus the key gaps of causing the organizational ineffectiveness so we want to be effective effective mean hitting uh, the benchmark look around the the cost is going down the uh, the customer satisfaction going up and the staff motivation going up and the organization achieving the desired objective that's you know the process involves uh, ensuring the employees feel, you know, they are the right ability, they have the competencies, uh, they are satisfied, they want to stay longer with the organization and their performance improving and they are enjoying the work as well. So then next week, if we look, you know, in the different perspective, the chaining the face of HR. So HR face is, of course, is a chaining. No, HR is more focused, not only the shareholders, wealth maximization. So no, the concept is stakeholders. Guys, you know, a couple of you have heard about the stakeholders or learn about the stakeholder theory. Stakeholders mean anyone who has any interest in the business is, is a stake. Stake mean interest. But in the past, we used to be more focused on shareholders. Yeah, shareholders mean investors. Those invest the money in the company. So we are not focused on the just the shareholders, we focus on the stakeholders well. So shareholders also stakeholders, but not all the shareholders are, uh, not all the stakeholders are the shareholders. So that's, you know, which we can look around, explore the external focus, look around the CSR, corporate social responsibility, we are meeting emphasis on offering the solution of the business problem. If we have, you know, that the human resource, the strategy will help you, strategic value adding, the business in line with the function through the structural changes who is the boss who is the responsibility who's do what what we want to be achieved in the organization so when we looking the word strategies so strategic human resource context process so we can look around organizational strategy organizational culture competitive financial environment and current organization structure need human resource quantities are skill levels we look around the available financial resources hr activities we can look around the equal employment <coughs> recruitment inflection hr 
development compensation performance implies relation yeah? our relationship is very very important that help you know to organization to achieve its objective because end of the day whatever we want to and we want to achieve the objective the company's pd plan we can look around the hr's pd plan hr plan the company plan is what you want to be like we want to reduce the uh, our dissatisfaction within the customer. We want to increase the satisfaction. We are, want to increase the image of the company. We want to increase the goodwill of the company. We want to increase the sale of the company. So all these, you know, the human resource can play the key role. And HR planning uh, determine the needs, the recruit, and select, you know, the right people at the right job for the right skill. So it's a crucial in the organization success part of our all the company's 3D plan. So HR plan should be contextualized with overall organization plan, you know, the big class is the planning is mean where you are, where you want to go and what you want to be achieved, not just the time wasting really, you know, sitting in an office and just wasting time. So we have to look around as an organization, as an individual, what's your plan, what do you want to achieve in your life, you know, because you just want to be play the games are sitting in the office. Yes, yeah, so that's, you know, is quite crucial. We need to be look around. Uh, cost leadership is the strategy in the HR perspective. So you have to look around the efficiency, stabilities, and cost control. So long HR planning horizon, build, you know, the skill existing implies the job. So we have to look around the promote from the within uh, extensive training. We hire, you know, and train specific capability. Differentiation strategies, if you want more growth and more innovation and decentralized, so shorter HR planning, Look around the higher HR capabilities and broader, more flexible jobs, you know. So external staffing, less training, higher and train and brain, you know, the competency. That's really because you want innovation. So speedy human resource planning, the cultural factors, we need to be look around. The cultures mean the norms, the value, the way we do the business. Uh, we have different types of the cultures, power distance, equalities among individualism. Uh, masculinity, uncertainty, these are given by the hosted cultural dimension. So equality among the employees because there is a power distance in the nations and in some cultures is more individualistic cultures, the success versus the quality of life in some cultures, success is the money more or the success is a, so success as a uh, comfortable life, our skills, you know, our the environment in the organization culture, the managers to give the some flexibility, but depends, you know, the how worker behave as well. That really we need to be look around. Dimension of the organization, effectiveness, productivity, financial contribution, return on investment. We can look around the service and the quality uh, is very very important. That help you know organization to achieve its objective. Okay, then Handy gave the four cultural dimension that so we can look around power role task and personal culture so that is also important so we have to is the power culture there is the role culture the role model the task culture complete the task the piece right and thing are the personal individual who is the ceo of the company is influenced so guys i included the some model here please it's good to be watch the video of the cultural dimension by handy and the, the website is suited to you. That's, you know, which we use for various other courses and quite good to use, please. Okay. And then next we're looking in the prospective 4.2 plan, the effective HR strategy. If you want to be planned, so anything you want to be planned, first thing, please, you have a data. Data leads to information and information is knowledge. So data, information, and knowledge. When you have that, use your wisdom. Yes. And then you make the decision. If you're not making the wisdom decision, you think, come on, you know, you have to look around the risk, how much risk you can be at. Like, you know, putting all the men money in the gambling and you lose the money. Yes, is a huge risk or what reward you will be. You have to look around the sentiment of the people. Yes, that, you know, is quite crucial. The quantity and the quality of human resource required by organization. Turn it, identify the key component HR strategies. Look around HR team is a highly expertise in line with the major HR intervention. Look around the relevance of the business performance. Do appraisal accordingly and accountability through the appraisal. Yes, if they need training, you should have provide them training. Speeding management and the planning. When we do this, we have to draw the productivity metrics, benchmark, how improve the organization productivity, organization restructuring, 
sizing maybe you making the people redundant using more it technology yes it redesign your work the job play in line hr activity outsourcing so we can look on hr planning uh, right people right capability right time at the right place at the right job so that is more crucial anyone any question here please okay organization strategies we can scan the internal and external environment when we look at the external we can think about best political economic social technological legal and eco how these impact you know we can look around internal what we're doing how much the hr capabilities inventories the staff and the male the female the age group the retirement age all the inventory you must carry on reviewing the forecasting the future needs demand and supply of and we do the survey and we make the strategy for future succession planning is quite crucial as well so scanning the environment which is government legislation national minimum wage inflation so please if you want to some facts and figures ons.gov.uk Office of National Statistic is good to look around. Internal assessment. So the job exists now. The many individuals are performing each job. Essentially, job job will be needed. And the correct is for anticipated job. That's, you know, which we carry on looking. <clears throat> Internal assessment of organization. Organization capability. So nowadays, it's very important. Knowledge, skills, and behaviors are knowledge, skills, and ability to you do the assessment of these in component organization capabilities ability to do something and that's you know which will carry on what is required in we need the data for it performance you can do so other external factor also impact you know supply and demand look around the immigration rule net immigration individual interest and leaving the training in the workforce the economic factors and other factors that are affecting that are very crucial in HR planning, which we'll carry on doing. Anyone, any question, please? Okay, guys. So next we're looking at strategic HR management and planning. We can look around the forecasting, supply and demand. Demand, the yes factor affecting internal supply, promoting the literal moves. Yes, look around the termination, look around the personnel chain, look around the track of retirement, succession planning, long-term plan. Uh, worker re uh, reductions maybe due to the advancement. We can look around realignment, maybe downsizing is the right sizing. Uh, economic causes, we you know the product demand, it needs mean less stop required. Structurally, technological change in merger and acquisition. Okay, then please, it's quite good, the growth. The current stop level, the projected outflow, the projected inflow this year and the unit internal supply for the time of next year. The sources of inflows, external hires, internal transfer, promotion, recall, current stuffing, and the source of outflows, the promotion, turnover, determine, uh, termination. We can look around these, you know, retirement, uh, death, uh, layoff, you know, the workers can be. So HR perspective, always quite good to be focused on Look around the metrics. This one also quite good is the angle that's, you know, opinion when the contribution meant moderate strategies. We can look around the product. We can look around the people, customer, and the processes and the requirement of HR people required and what processes we have, how much we making, are we making to be automated. And that's, you know, help, you know, drive the achievement. It's so organization ultimately is all the leading towards organization objective. Okay, HR must be fit to develop own business plan, focus on the sporting organization objective. What do you mean by objective? Objective need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. The plan must be highlight, you know, the linkage between the workforce and the organization. We can look around sports, reports, yes, and meaningful value proposition. Role and responsibilities. What your role and what your responsibility? We've been given the case study here, please, guys, which is available on the Moodle. Last lesson we discussed enterprise rent a car and port a cabin, and today is here, you know, which is good to look around the gas electricity companies and various projects they involve. So how they develop, you know, HR in line the business and HR needs. So you have to look around business want to grow. 
HR need more people. Without it, it can't be happened. So can organization internally capability to deliver the business goals? If the HR receive the most criticism with people are, we need to be look around. HR is a strategic role. They have to be integration, uh, the strong core competencies. So we look the business is the weakest. If we don't have it, you know, these and not in line with overall organization, motivation of staff, reward system, HR strategy need to be in line with overall organization objective. Organization performance, the process which the goal is, the objective is executed. We can look around the business and manage across and down. So we can look around the greatest opportunities directly impact on the business sector, enhancing HR reputation and contribution. We can look around the critically part of their process, you know, robust the performance reviews. We can look around the people and the third element, the personal development, PDP. Yes, so you look around the CPD, continuous professional development, like you're working in HR, you're working, depends on the nature of your organization. Then we can look around organization, design and the structure, uh, the size of the structure required is a flat structure, is the tall structure. You look around the competitive advantage, decision making shape, the size, the cost of organization in line, the business strategy. Yes, so that's we need to be look around the people, expert, HR, add the values in the organization. You have to look around structurally strength of these in the HR teams, you know, the elements, those we need to be look around. Okay, then we can look around strategic resourcing achieving the clarity throughout the organization structure, the critical in order to be resourcing the strategies of work and wealth. So those we can deciding your own resource strategies and another important component determine the effectiveness. Effectiveness, yes. That's also reassure the strategy need to be created and the recruitment brand image, yes, organization appears. So like invested in a people world can be huge impact. Strategic resources about providing the pipeline, importing talent. Talent management is also play the key role which we need to be development of the responses and the team level define the individual abilities and we do the ability audit and skills and then we'll carry on looking. Uh, often we call the reward strategies quite, quite crucial. The component, what sort of the reward will be, the bonus, the salaries, the gym, the dentist or the medical insurance. These are also very, are the company cars, yes, that will, you know, help end of the day with looking cost and benefit and what is the productivity. The culture usually describe the way to do the things around us that, you know, 10, last 10 to 15 years, it has been aligned the organization behaviors more strongly with the customer needs and creating the customer facing unit, customer sensitive behaviors. Uh, customer service training up to level C at least, you know, HR team, you know, closely work in the organization culture and understand the style and the people to whom we deal. So education activities in terms of outcomes and the objective of the organization, HR mayors, uh, uh, managers and the leader anticipate, you know, and speak about the productivity's improvement. What is about the uh, improve, you know, the skills really we need to be look around the profit rather than the new uh, rather than the new competencies model that, you know, which we can look around. Okay, guys, so we have, you know, a lot of, you know, the case studies which I included in the, this, you know, these PowerPoint quite good to be validated, you know, the data and output which we can look around. Correlation in the hunters and gather reporting. Correlation is mean the relationship. If you have the right person, right to you, to reverse, you know, your recruitment and selection, it can impact, you know. So we have the company called Aon, so it's good to be look around what strategy they have. So the processes, business strategies, the workflows, capabilities, HR strategic planning initiative, and what is so Aon is a of course public PLC company, multinational corporation providing risk risk management insurance and reinsurance brokerage human resource solutions and outsourcing the services. So these you know and here we can look around HR strategy of ASDA, ASDA making, you know, the strategies accordingly human, ASDA plan to create, you know, 12,000 new jobs over the next five years, ASDA is cutting, you know, 
middle level managers and because they need you know more because the management can be use technology to manage uh, is a walmart family as they used to be now as they been separated again uh, it's been part three brothers from blackburn and uh, you know we need to be look around the strategy is changes as well so they change the strategy 4.3 we can look around the monitor the effectiveness of human resource we can when we looking the effectiveness top turnover percentage labor productivity for employees how much spend it absentees what we have and compare against against the industry benchmark all the employees lose the job retirement maternity death top turnover need to be managed employees retention that you know we need to be look around the ways to turn over effective recruitment and selection when we have provide you know competitive pay job enrichment and reward and staff loyalty factor that influence the productivity external and quality fix asset uh, equipment skills abilities the method of production external factor reliability supplies all these so labor productivity we can calculate by using the output per period units and number of employees so how much is the per employee you know output we generate uh tackling the absentees understand the causes set the target have a clear sickness and absence policies and provide the reward and consider the wider issues oh guys i included the link for you to do the quiz uh, look around the performance analysis of employees so these you know please you can do in your time Okay, let's we'll do a bit recap what we done today. Then we had a discussion about today's lesson. Just a bit, you know, what we done. The key word there. We have a handy. We have offset. The cultural dimension. Yeah, that's you know which we can look around. Uh, we mentioned cultural web. Culture is the norms, values. We had a cost, leadership strategies. So you can align with or you're working toward differentiation strategies. We discuss. You look the external environment. You, <clears throat> you look around the internal environment. Uh, yes, that's you know, we had. We discuss about job rotation, job enlargement, and look around the productivity. Yes, and performance, and look around competencies and capability, and we discuss about you know it need to be HR plan, HR strategy in line with the overall organizational strategy. Yes. Yeah. So what for that you know we need to be look around. And we had a discussion about how we can make it look around the correlation between look around the training and development. Uh, you know, it's quite crucial. Really, you need to be look around. That was the key in our lesson, and we had a discussion about supply and demand. Supply, and we discuss about immigration policies in the country that can be huge impact. You know. So that's you know which we had a discussion about and thanks for attending today lesson and the next lesson we look you know our L O five and we'll do the assignment discussion and thanks for attending and have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.